morning, all. It's Ned. And this is Michelle. And collectively, we are My Philippine Dreams. That's my fiance right there. Welcome to another episode of Weekly Wrap Up, where we recount to you the goings on in our incredibly exciting lives. First up is the weather. It's been cold. Yes. <laughs> I like cold. Cold is my favorite time of the year. January is my favorite time of the year in, of in the Philippines. January is when I love the Philippines the most. May, April, not so much. And it's uh, Mihan, and we got the cool winds coming, the trade winds are hitting us, and it's really nice. Next up, Michelle's job. How's your job going? I'm loving my job. It just, except for some dramas going on at work. Dramas <laughs> at work. Yeah, there's, there's this one officer that just, he thinks he's in charge of everything. And he's just like me, he's also new, and just great, just great. Create some dramas at the, at the, at work, and it's not cool. Not cool. All right, so there's always going to be drama in the workplace as part of working. That's why I don't work in the workplace anymore. <laughs> but I've visited you a few times at work. It seems like it's a fun and festive environment. Unfortunately, you have to work six days a week, which I'm... But because I'm also able to practice what I've learned learn in school it's business so we're literally running the, the store yeah so you're in charge of all the monies and the t and all that stuff and managing people yes. uh, next up Ted and Susie brought us out to dinner we went to Gabby's Bistro is that Gabby's Bistro yes it's at Florentina Homes on West Rovira Ave I think and if you actually want like a romantic dinner in Dumaguete Go to Gabby's and sit back by the pool. They have a beautiful pool area in the back, and you can actually order food there. And uh, the food is good. The food is very good. It's consistently good. And the atmosphere there is really nice. We, we really like Gabby's. And thank you, Ted and Susie, again, for buying us dinner. We owe you one. Yes. We're still waiting on the three Balik Bayan boxes that are coming. We had the school kids in Texas, a, a Texas high school group, put together three Balik Bayan boxes full of toys and school supplies for the kids. And we're still waiting on that, two-stroke engines. So those should be arriving anytime. Now we check the tracking on it. It should, it should be coming either this week or next week. And we're gonna have a big party for the kids and distribute and a lot of that stuff. Also invite Ate Linda. Yes, and Ate Linda will be coming also, and Gary, and Kuya Gary. Smoking. smoking. Yeah, you smoking. Yeah, I start smoking again. It's a work yeah. in progress. I did good for like two weeks, and then I just started gradually slipping backwards. I know I can do it, I've done it before, but it's something that I have to do. Yes. And Michelle is incredibly disappointed. So moving on, cost of living. Okay, we didn't do a December and November update on our expenditures. It was basically $1,100 each month, plus the additional money for the Rouser, which was approximately $1,450. I'm still liking the Rouser though. Although it's, it's really impractical. It's the most impractical thing, but it's sexy. Yeah, it's sexy. Yeah, it's sexy, but you can't really do anything on it. We also put up a bunch, we haven't done a weekly wrap up in a while. We did a bunch of videos, or I did a bunch of videos. Most recent one was the really exciting one on blacklisting, which everybody loved. And they said, gee, Ned, this is the best video you've ever done. <laughs> I had actually shot that a couple months ago, three, actually about three months ago. We also did a video on the Military Courtesy SRRV. I'm not a big fan of the SRRVs, but the Military Courtesy one gets uh, the Philippine Dreams thumbs up. We also talked about our, whether Filipinos or foreigners are better two-wheel drivers, motorcycle and scooter drivers. And we came to the conclusion, and this is just our opinion, that Filipinos are more skillful riders, but foreigners tend to be more safe drivers. Uh, we talked about the three biggest dangers facing foreigners, and in my opinion, it was motorcycles and scooters, it was food and water, and it was ourselves getting in our own way. We also talked, we did the uh, photographs that Phil Prinz did. A lot, of, a lot of vloggers were focusing on the circumstances of his death, but we thought we'd focus on the circumstances of his life, some of the art that he's done. He was a great photographer. We also did a personal update and the Dumaguete fireworks that we went out, actually that was Ted and Susie again yes, for the fireworks, them, that was some cool. Of their friends. And some of their friends from Bohol. We're supposed to go to Bohol next year for the fireworks. <laughs> yes. So they can show us how much better their fireworks are. 
Also, we did the two years photos, all the photo, some of the photographs that I've taken over the last couple of years, we put up. I still have to do my two year in the Philippines update. Um, I'm just lazy. Yes. <laughs> I'm just waiting for the perfect circumstances to do that one. But it will be done. And right now, after we have uh, breakfast here, because it's Michelle's day off, yep. we're going to Hi uh, Hypermart to do some grocery shopping. Then we have to go to Daro Produce Market. Then we have to pick up laundry. And then later on in the afternoon, we're going to be going up behind Valencia to go zip lining. Yes, zip lining. Go zip lining and maybe walk up and down into Casa Roro Falls. Again. For some exercise. I mean, the, the, the waterfall isn't that incredibly majestic, but it's good exercise. Mm. And it should be cool up there, even though today's pretty nice. So yeah, it's January, and January's the best time to be in the Philippines, in my December humble- December and January. Yeah, December and January are my two favorite months. Febu March, it starts to heat up again, and I'm not looking forward to April and May, but hey, that's life in the Philippines. So that's our weekly wrap up for January 19th, 2016. Hope you're all well. This is Ned. And this is Michelle. And we'll see you next time. Bye. Bye.